Welcome back. This is the third. This is the third video of my tutorial. Where well, yeah, um, on the first video, which you can find both links, um, on at the end of this video. On the first video, I showed you how to just set up a basic React app. On the second video, we created this. What you're looking at right here, a simple uh, React app with Server.js. Enter your name, the month you were born. This this is what I did on the second video. This is. The video that you're hearing right now, this is the third video. I'm gonna show you something else. Complete, thank you for taking the survey and you can see the data over here. Ignore all these warnings. And here's all the data that we just input. All right, so um, again, sorry for any of the background noises that you heard in the, in the first videos. I am making this video really early in the morning for you guys and fortunately there are sounds in the background. Um, Okay, so in this third video, I'm going to show you how to do another type of survey. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the JSON. Um, here I'm at the GitHub page of Survey.js, and I just I'm using one of the examples text questions. That's all I'm doing, and um, copying the JSON that I want. I can update it later, and then I would again copying the JSON that I want and then I would say in questions instead of question one I'm gonna call save it here and call questions two js export cons there we go paste it and we are done with that so now we let's make the survey t the survey uh, types let's make a servant survey type we we'll call it survey type so also it's Friday guys there's a lot of noise outside I'm recording this on Friday morning everybody's excited so again I do apologize for the background noise survey type just I copied everything I had from survey 1 I copied it into survey 2 because it's gonna be the same thing this is why I made the structure in survey in in the second video that I had I made please watch the first two videos before you watch this because in this video I'm just doing a lot of copying and pasting from what I've already done and changing some stuff so survey type 1 this is what we had in survey type 1 I, I copied it into survey type 2 so I am going to change where I got the questions from so it's not questions 1 no more it's questions 2 what else do I want to show for this type um, we are going to change some stuff as well so false this is the data we can, we can keep all this this is fine these are basic stuff survey two now we want to do a survey display where do we display the survey basically so we're going to show you let's create the survey display two survey two okay so we're going to copy everything from survey one let's just make sure that we have so just copy everything we have from survey one, put it into survey two. I'm gonna change some stuff around. So um, survey type, it's we're not using uh, where we get survey types. Here we have survey type one. We're gonna bring in survey type two. Survey type two. Awesome save it um, and then we can change it this to thank you for taking survey two to make it different that this is the second page and then in app.js instead of the first survey survey one we can bring in survey two All right, this is the beautiful thing of using react as components see how easy I just used all those components I, I did in the last video all I did was just create a new ones and change and change the like the reference, that's it. And I made my second questions. And now we have a second survey. Let's see how it looks. Okay, what is it, what is it complaining about? Survey uh, question two does not contain a default export. Oh, let's see, survey type two. Oh, okay. Since, I, so what it's saying is that in question two, I didn't say, look at question one. I exported it using export default. But in question two, I did not do that. I just exported it as a const. So I have to import it 
using braces after this structure this structure there we go beautiful and then json would be here awesome there we go guys that's it it works so what a printing system do you use again if we already wrote all the logic out already in the last video so we're just making multiple surveys so what a printing system do you use mac os also other look at this other if you have other you have to put something if you leave it blank it's not going to let you go you see that so that's it has we can do we can do custom validation so here is the other right here has other it's true if i take this to false it's not it's uh, it's not going to show my other you see you only have three choices but we want other so that's good and then we can do custom validation this i'm not going to show you all of that now but if you want you can validate the choice mac there's no other next let's um is required true let's put that on the last one notice how the last one doesn't have is required in the questions you see that you have questions here Okay, all right, there we go. My JavaScript and C++, those are the only two languages that I know, unfortunately. Do I know anything here? No, I do not. React is, not, oh, I do know some C Sharp. React is not a language, it's a framework. I know R as well, I've used R when I was in grad school. CSS is technically not a language, so I don't know why they put this here. All right, so next. Your name, email, again, use my grad, school, my grad school email, complete. Thank you for taking survey two. Awesome. Let's inspect it. And here's the data. Name, the languages that we chose. So we can easily just do something with this data. That's the beauty of this. We can just send everything back to the back end. If we need to so that ends my tutorial guys all, all this is the third video and the final video on react and survey.js please watch all three leave a comment again i do apologize for any background noise you heard i tried to make this video early before i start my day so it's and i also made this video on a friday morning so as you can tell friday is the most busiest day so you heard a lot of noises outside and my laptop was just going up because of the fan again thank you